Barbara Feldman of WordHer.com, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to compress and optimize your images in your media library using the free WordPress plugin by TinyPNG called Compress JPEG and PNG Images. When you go to the repository and look for this plugin, be sure that the developer is TinyPNG. There is another plugin using the TinyPNG name, but this is the official one. Now I'm in my WordPress control panel, and as you can see, I have already installed and activated the plugin. First, we're going to go to settings and talk a little bit about what the options are here. In order to use it, you will need to register an account, and that's easy to do. You just put in your name and email address and you click register and it takes you over to the tiny PNG. And once you have an account, you will get an API key. It's a long number and then you will have to put it here into um, every site that you use the plugin for. Now, the plugin is free up to 500 image compressions a month. That's a great deal. Are you compressing more than 500 images a month? We'll talk about what counts as a compression a little bit later in the demo, but if you do use more than 500 a month, the price is less than a penny an image. So it's a great deal. If you have a huge project and you are compressing all at one time, existing images in an existing site, you can calculate what the cost would be by inputting how many images you want to compress and it comes up, here's a price calculator, and you can find this at tinypng.com. So I'm going to input my API key here. So now my account is connected. It will tell you how many compressions you've made so far this month. Now we need to set the settings for the plugin, which images it's going to compress. Well, you will see un under this section of the settings, which is under media, by the way, settings, media, I have more than four image sizes here because I have some images that are defined by my theme and uh, maybe even by a plugin that I'm using. So if you don't know which sizes are being used, you can have TinyPNG compress all of them. Because I'm developing my own sites, I know on a site-by-site -site basis which image sizes I'm using. I might not for example, ever use home medium, home top. I might not ever use medium, and I might not ever use thumbnail. So you may select them all or choose those that you know are going to be used. Original image means that the compression is going to overwrite your the image that's uploaded, the original image. You may or may not want this. If you're going to use the original size on your site, you do want to compress it. Further on, we have some choices here about what happens when we compress the original image. One of the ways that optimization compression services work is that they remove the metadata that is included in your original image. These might be copyright, GPS, date and time. This gives you the option to, if you want to preserve in the original image, this metadata. I'm not a photo site, so I really don't care about preserving this information. You also can resize the original image. Okay, now's the time to talk about what counts as one of your 500 monthly compressions. Each one of the checked boxes here is going to count as a compression, and if you want to resize your original, that's an additional. So. Here I have one, two, three, four. So every image that I have selected to compress will count as four compressions. So that helps you calculate if 500 a month is enough for you. In this case, you know, you'd get 120 ish images to be compressed a month if this was the only site you were using your API key for. Okay, let's go to our media library and see what's new here. The plugin has added another column and it tells us how many sizes are to be compressed. Oops, you know why it says eight and not four is because I didn't hit save. Let's go back, save changes. Okay, so now I have saved both my API key and I've selected the four sizes. 
just to be sure I'm hitting save again. Do you ever do that? You know it's saved and you hit save again. It's the way we are. Okay, now let's go to our media library. And now it's showing me correctly that our four sizes are going to be compressed. And I can hit the details and it's going to tell me exactly. Not compressed means that it's the size has been selected, but it's not been compressed yet. And then those sizes that are not configured to be compressed are also shown. Let me show you what these all these sizes look like when you look at your file structure. Um, you might not be aware that WordPress, every time you upload an image, is making all these different sizes. It's making all these different copies of your original image. I'm going to switch to, this is an FTP client, and it is showing you what my WP Content Uploads folder looks like for a particular year and month. And here we have kindergarten, kindergarten readiness.jpg. So this is the original um, file that was uploaded. And all these with the dimensions dash with height, these are images created by WordPress the moment you upload it. So that little delay when you upload an image, this is what's going on behind the scenes. So this one is 768 by 329, that's in pixels, and so on. Okay, going back to our WordPress control panel. Okay, so that was the detail buttons. Now, you can compress your images here one at a time. This is useful if maybe you've compressed almost everything, but there's still one or two that haven't been compressed or if you're you know, trying to manage your 500 compressions a month. Okay, we got a savings of 57%. That's, that's extraordinary. That is a huge savings in terms of speed that these images are now going to pop up in a browser for your users. But there's also bulk. This is going to allow you to say, go at it, and the plugin will compress all the images in your media library before you hit start. It's going to tell you how many images there are, multiply it by the number of images per, the number of sizes per image. So it gives you 121. So it's telling you the cost is going to be zero. And to start the optimization, you just click the blue button. You're going to see it as it goes through them one at a time, when it's compressing, when it's done, and so on and so forth. In addition to the two manual ways I have shown you to get your images compressed, now that you've activated the Tiny PNG plugin, each new image that you upload to your media library will be automatically optimized. And with that, I'm going to end this video. I hope you found it helpful.